okay, what I'm going to look at here is getting started with your first page of your website. And what I have over in my files panel is I have two images that I created in Photoshop. I created a background image and a container image. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin. I'm going to create my first file. I'm going to come File, New. I'm going to have a blank page. I'm going to keep it the layout at none. Now, when I come to my doc type, I actually am going to set this at HTML5. HTML5 is the newest, um, the, the latest HTML language. So I'm going to sit, hit Create. And here we have it. I have my first web page. I come on up to my workspace. I can work in split view. I see that I generated my first set of um, HTML. Now let's just take a look at this HTML real quick. Up here, we can see that we have doc type HTML. This line two, this is the opening tag for the HTML. Line 10, this is the closing tag for the HTML. Now, as we continue to move along, what we can see is that each one of our HTML pages will have a head, line three. Okay, this is the opening head tag. And as I come into line six, I have the closing head tag. Now the head contains a couple things. First of all, it contains the title. So I come on up to my title and I write in Peace Seedlings. Okay, uh, this is what I, this is what we'll say, welcome to Peace Seedlings. That will be my title page, that is my home page. Now, <clears throat> what I can see is that goes right in there. Now, also you can put your keywords, and I'll show you that in a later video. The next thing will be the body, and everything that we see in the body, everything that's in the body is what we will see on the page. Okay, so we come on over. I'm going to come to design view. Now, some people, coders, will work completely in code. And here we have the design view. And definitely, we'll be going back and forth. Your main windows that you're going to be working with here will be our files window. We can always see what we have in our files. Another main window that we'll be working with in, this, in these videos will be the properties window. Okay. Uh, and for this video, let's just work with, let's just take a look at the properties window and we'll keep our little files window here too. Now, I can start getting my page, designing my page with my files. And I can come on in to the page properties, which is right here. And I want to actually put in a background. I have a background that I created that's over in my files and I want to place it in. So I'm going to come to Appearance CSS because what will happen is what I put here will appear in my CSS panel and I can determine what fonts I want. So I'm going to say, okay, on this page I want to use Georgia. I love Georgia. Um, what color do I want my text to be? I could set my text color. I'm just going to leave it black for right now. Um, I could set a background color. Let's see what would happen if I set a background color. Just to show you how this all works. Oops, FFF is white. Oh, keep doing the same thing. All right, I'm going to hit apply. Now you can see that I have a background color. But what I want to do actually is I'm going to put in a background image. And I have this background image that I created. I've made it 1920 by 1080. So it would really fill up the whole, the whole page. Um, now, this is telling me that I need to save it before... I put it in, I'm going to hit OK, I'll hit Apply, and now my background has come in. Um, now, it will automatically repeat on its own, so I could put, I could set it to no repeat, repeat X, repeat Y, I'm going to put it on no repeat, I put a color behind it, I've made it nice and big, so I'm not so worried about that. So I'm going to hit OK, and what I just have done is I have created my first page. Now, if I'd like to preview it, I can come on in. But what I need to do first is I need to save my page. I'm going to hit File, Save As. Since this is my home page, I will need to end, name it Index. When you upload your files to a server, when it goes live on the web, when the web comes in, someone puts in the URL of your site, it will launch the Index page. So this is a standard type of thing. Do not use any capital letters or spaces or special characters in the naming of your HTML files. 
So I'll hit save. Now I'm going to preview it in the web. I can come on up to this little image of this earth and I'm going to preview it in Firefox. Okay, which I don't want it to do. All right, so I'm getting all of this different things here. Um, now mine's not working just right because I didn't upload the page to the server yet. Mine was live. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to hit live view. All right, so this is what it would look like live. That's a little bit of a quicker thing. Yours probably worked when you hit to preview. Um, mine did not because I actually need to upload the whole thing. The site is actually live. Okay, now if I preview it, it should work. Let's see. Hold on for one minute. I had to uh, fix mine up a little bit, but here it is, my preview on the web. Okay, so I can see too, I want to have my set my background. It will change and what will be seen will be based on what is on that person's computer. Now I just want to show you one more thing. Another panel that's a real important panel will be your CSS style. So I come to window, CSS styles, and I can click and I can see that this is what I've done. I've started writing some CSS and I can see that I put in a background color and I also put in this image as a background and I set it to no repeat. So there is a beginning overview of um, Dreamweaver CSS, creating your first page and putting in a background image. Again, you can use an image, you could set a color. This all, um, we did this through the page properties panel and we did it through the CSS. Thanks so much.